isso. Hey, you Angela? Come on in, you're coming in because this is embarrassing. Okay, well can you step out from behind the door so I can make sure you're not hiding anything from behind? Put that down. But wait, you coming in my house, Come on Okay, well I'm the police, so put the gun down. Okay, but I'm, I'm entitled to have my gun. Okay. Don't come in here with no, no, no riffing and reffing. Wow. Where do I even begin with this? You know, whenever I see somebody who, she has to be late 50s, whenever I see someone do something like that, I just question to myself, how did they survive to the age that they are? If you're going out in the world and you're interacting in the world with brain cells off, doing stuff like that, do she does she not understand you literally were almost shot to dead shot dead right there on the spot when you pop out behind the door with a firearm in your hand bro all it would have take was the officer to have another officer on the side of him who can't see inside all it would have took was him to jump back and yell gun it would have been over with for you you'd have been cooked real stupidity behavior so we got a domestic issue between a mother and her son. So basically the son is claiming something on the lines that um, he's 31 years old and she won't let him leave the house and go be an adult. I, 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 you know, it's a mess. Let's hear what the mother has to say and then we'll hear what the son has to say. Well, can you step out from behind the door so I can make sure you're not hiding anything from behind? Put that down. But wait, you coming in my house, Call me. Okay, well, I'm the police, so put the gun down. Okay, but I'm, I'm entitled to have my gun. Okay. Don't come in here with no, no, no riffing and reffing. It's in my house. Okay. What's going on? I don't know. You tell me. You knocking on the door. I ain't calling you. I'm here to ask what's going on. Well, come over here, please. I don't want nobody in here. Like, this is, I don't know if you understand. This is an older senior citizen place. Okay. This is embarrassing. I did not call you, so you cannot ask me what's I, going on. I can't ask you what's going well, on. Well, I don't know. I'm not telling you. I don't know. Okay, so you don't want to talk to me? No, what I'm saying is I don't know. I did not call you. If I called you, I would have something Was to there say. an altercation with your son? No. What? Was there a verbal altercation? Was there a no, physical altercation? No. What's going on? What did on? he say? What do you, sir? I don't know. What did What did he say? You asking me something that maybe he called you about? I don't know. I'm just asking you what happened. That's and I'm all. telling you, I don't know. So you don't know what happened between you and your son? No. My son is 31 years old. I've been raising him. Mm -hmm. I know he got a new girlfriend, and he probably want to go home to her. So I don't know. You have to ask him. You asking me a question that I don't have an answer to. I'm asking about your side of the story. He's giving us a side of the story. I'm asking have, about your side of the story. I don't know what the story is. If you don't know anything and there's nothing wrong, why are you answering the door with guns? Let's hear what the son has to say. I'm going to play the son's 911 call, and then I'll play the body camera footage when the police um, spoke with the son downstairs in the parking lot. I'm trying to leave, but I'm being held here against my will. Who's the person keeping you from leaving? Give me one second. Well, be in my house, locking doors, and talking about me in a negative way in line. I'm not talking about you. Stop it. Um, she asked me to go get her a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. She said, sure. So I did. Mm -hmm. Had her a bottle of wine, got myself a little cord light or something. Okay. Then um, I was playing music. Okay. She didn't like the music I was playing. So she asked me to turn it off. Is that what got it all started? Was, yeah. Was the music? Yeah. Okay. So she asked me to turn it off. I turned it off. Then she just loses it. And I was like, um, okay. So, word, and after the other, all I wanted to do, I even told her this. I said, I do not want to stay here. I want to go home. Mm -hmm. I'll grab my dog, I'll grab my stuff, and I will go home. Where's she home? In Tucker. Okay. She goes, No, nah, you ain't going nowhere. If, 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 if you're going to leave, I'm going to have you leave in the morning. And I was like, But I want to leave now. Okay, did she say why she wanted to hold you here? No, she didn't say. Okay. And only because she's my mom, I fell back. I'm like, All right, fine. I don't want any type of confrontation. But the longer I stayed there, the worse it got. All right, I'm going to pause it here real quick, but this is an in general lesson that some people need to hear, especially this guy 
because especially that he's black, I'm black too, but just in general, everybody needs to hear this. Don't call the police on loved ones, family members, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, unless you understand that when you are calling the police, there is a chance that they can end up dead. You run a risk. It's not zero. Clearly with this particular instance, he knows his mom has a firearm. He knows his mom is acting weird. He called the police on her. She's popping outside of the behind the, the door with a gun in her arms. You know, she could have been killed. And, you know, let's say you get in a fight with your girlfriend and she's drunk. You call the police. Next thing you know, she's wrestling with the police and she's drunk and just drunk out of her mind and just decides to try to grab the police firearm. You know what happens next in a lot of those situations. So I don't understand how these people don't know not to call the police on loved ones. That's like a complete last resort. He was able to get outside before the police got there. So you shouldn't have called the police. But but if you are in danger, I guess call the police. I don't, you know, for I guess YouTube sake purposes, I don't know what to say or not or what to tell people to do. This is not legal advice. Do whatever you need to do in whatever particular situation. But just know when you make a 911 call on a loved one, it could be the last, you know, that could be the end of them. Okay. She done. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to grasp up off the floor. She uh, kicking me, she, uh, docking me down and shit like that. And I'm like, what, what are you doing? Like, right. what was going on right before you walked out into the hallway? Cause I like come into the hallway trying mm -hmm. to figure out which way to go with the apartment. You know, yeah. Which way to follow the numbers. And I heard thumping and bumping and some loud talking. That was her. What was the thumping? Her pushing me around. And the only thing I was trying to do was just get my stuff and leave. Okay. So now that you guys are involved, she's talking a whole different game. Okay. I never held him here. Okay. He could go home now. I tried to go home two hours ago, like two hours ago. Okay. So and and, and like also on the phone, I was like, she's talking a whole different game now. Before I called you guys, she was like. No, you ain't going nowhere. No, damn that. You ain't going nowhere. If you're going to go home, it's going to be in the morning. And I was like, but I don't want to go home in the morning. I want to go home now. This is your mother? Yeah, this is my mom. Okay. So why? So what was the context? Why were you over here? I came over here. I need a new pair of glasses. I can't drive at nighttime because I can't see. So I work from home. So... I basically came over here to work up till I got my glasses. So now that I have my glasses, I was basically staying over here. Just so I could be nice. You know, this is my mom. We barely see each other like that. So, you know, I'm you over here. Bad. I'll leave on the weekend. But then she asked me to get her a bottle of wine. And we just you call hell from that. And she said that I was disrespectful or because of the music I was playing. And I was like, you asked me to turn it off, and I did. Mm -hmm. So, what's the issue? Like, I'm still confused. Like, you asked me to turn it off, and I did. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it got to this level. I really, genuinely feel it was. So, the only way I can handle that is for me to leave. She didn't want me to leave. So... I had to sneak to go to the bathroom and call the cops. And uh, 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 we on the phone, heard her at the door, banging the door, let me in, let me in. Don't be locking no doors in my house, baby. Mm -hmm. Like he heard all of this commotion going on. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she heard a cop on the phone, he should go, oh, he could leave right now. He could leave right now. And I was like, I was trying to do that two hours ago. What's the apartment number? Get, can we do we need a fob to get in these doors or what? No, you, uh, I, don't know. Right in. I feel bad for bro for sure. You know, they're going through it, but buddy, you gotta understand, your mom's getting older. The mother said that it's like an old folks place. And, you know, when people get older, they start to have cognitive and mental stuff going on and they start to have issues like that. You don't want to bring the police involved in that particular situation. Unless it's unless it's last case scenario, you know, 
You want to get mental health professionals to help you. You don't want the police showing up with guns. They're not trained specifically for mental health situations. It can end badly, brother. You don't want to be calling the police on your mom like this. Unless she, you know, had the gun pointed to you and the gun was out. But during the course of his whole spiel of what happened, he didn't say anything about the gun, you know, or, or you know, or, or, or whatever. The gun was not in a part of the story that happened before, you know, he called the police. So I wouldn't be calling the police. But let's finish hearing what the mother has to say her side of the story. Because maybe... Maybe it's a plot twist coming. You know what I mean? I get it. And I the get reason, it. the reason, the reason I was a little frustrated is because you were hiding behind the door with a gun. I announced myself no, as police. I didn't know who was the door. Okay, I got you. So, I, okay. I, this is my home. Yeah. I have the right to protect my home. Angela, can we move past that? Oh, you know my name. Yes, I do. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, it's nothing else to talk about. Talk to someone. I'm here to answer the question, mm -hmm. but there's nothing else. My son. So why would he be so upset to call the police? That's what I want to know. Listen. Let me tell you something, and I don't like to say this about my child, but it's hard for him to communicate. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say he has ADD, I don't want to say all that stuff. Right. It's hard for my son to communicate. He okay. has a new girlfriend in his life, his first girlfriend, and, uh -huh. and he's excited. My son didn't have glasses, mm -hmm. so he had to stay here. So he would use my internet right. to work for my, he just got his glasses that I got for him. Uh -huh. Once he got his glasses, he wanted to, well, actually I have my mask on, I don't, I don't play school stuff, but mm -hmm. once he got his glasses, he wanted to leave now and go back to his girlfriend. Gotcha. And he didn't know how to communicate that. Okay. He didn't know how to communicate that. Mm -hmm. So he's thinking I'm going to get upset. Listen, you're a grown man. Right. So he figured if he, I said to him, don't leave for that. And he was, I, went, I said, I'm the dog was sleeping. Mm -hmm. I said, he's waiting in the morning because he don't have to go to work at 3 p.m. Gotcha. I said, don't take, don't take the, uh, Vita uh -huh. this late at night. Right. Wait till the morning and leave. It's 4 something in the morning. Uh -huh. And that's it. He doesn't know how to communicate. Gotcha. And then once I thought he was talking to his girlfriend on the phone. Uh -huh. And then I mute the television, and once I heard the conversation, mm -hmm. I thought he was in there talking to his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I said, excuse me, if you want to go, you can go. Because then I heard him saying stuff like, she, mm -hmm. she, I'm trying to be she. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you can leave, you can leave. Mm -hmm. But by then, I didn't know he was on the phone with the cops. Gotcha. Okay. He could have gone. Mm -hmm. Well, he mentioned it before, because he doesn't talk to him. And you understand that when I say, I love my child. I, I talked to him. I talked and to him. He's saying you didn't want him to leave. You're holding him in here. I, and... him. I didn't want him to. The dog is on medication. He's not taking care of the dog. Uh -huh. That's my only thing. I love the that dog. That's why I went to give you the medication. Because he's leaving him without the baby medication. The baby got ear infection. He got taken to the dog. Mm -hmm. I want him to stay as well to take care of the dog. She got taken after 10 days. Mm -hmm. That's my son. And I love the dog. He leave it without the medication. Okay. So that's why I asked you the first thing I said you get the baby medication. I don't want him still out there waiting for you. Does he does he have the dog with him? Yeah. So can I take him the medication? If you want, uh, you want to see him? See what? My son. I've already, I already know where your son is. I've been talking where to is him. He? He's outside in the parking lot. Notice he had the dog. I don't know. That he can. He, he. I don't know if he put the dog in his so car or what. Right now. I'm not fibbing to you at all. I didn't see a dog out there. That doesn't mean he has a dog or not. Feel free to take the medication. You're the one that's fibbing to me. I'm asking you if anything happened. You're giving me the runaround. You're telling me you, you don't know anything about a story. So tell me, answer me this straight. Did a physical altercation happen or did a verbal altercation happen? Let's have a discussion, but please lower your voice in my house. Okay, well, you're not you're not going to come in here and, and, and tell me I'm a liar, okay? You're, you're not going to tell me I'm a liar. You said I was fibbing. No, okay. okay, I didn't say a lie. A lie okay. and a fib are two different things. Just like a fallacy. They're all two different things, but they mean the same thing. So I'm giving you respect okay. by using certain verbiage. So answer but, the question. Did a physical altercation occur? You asked me that already. What did I say? Do I look like I've been fighting my son? Look at me. I'm just I, asking. Question. If that's him, it's, just a, bring him in. it's a it's a yes or no question. I said that to you already. Okay. You asked me the same question. Okay. This is so embarrassing. Right. Okay. Let me put a mask on. Okay. This is. A All right, sir. So.
Did you close it all the way? Because this is humiliating. I have neighbors. How may I help you guys? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. The way the call came out, and I'm not going to lie, when I, when I came out of the hallway, I, it's pretty easy to pick out which apartments I heard yelling and thumping the Yeah, apartment. because by then I realized, I thought he was talking to his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to talk to his girlfriend. When I realized, no, I didn't realize. I thought he told his girlfriend, so I went in there to go, hey, what are you saying to people? When I realized it was 911 on his phone, mm -hmm. guess, guess what? You can get your stuff and you can go. So that's probably what you heard. Because are you telling these people, I'm trying to keep you here, what I wanted? Well, I, I actually, I, I heard, like, the sound of something and bumping right around here. No, no, so. that was the dog. That was Viva. That was the dog. Her tail hit the dog. You could see paws and everything. So that was probably the dog. What I wanted, he just got his glasses. There's a he gun in the corner. Yeah, so he couldn't drive. He can't drive. Like, oh, he can't lean down, his glasses right. broke. Right. So he's been staying here and... He said, Ma, I need glasses. I paid for his glasses. Mm -hmm. And he got the glasses. So I said, go home in the morning with Vita. Mm -hmm. Because my son could barely take care of himself. I wanted the baby to get the medication because I had the medication. Vita has been here with me all this time. The medication for the dog? Yes. Okay, I got Eardrops you. and an antibiotic. Okay. That's all I was saying to him. I was like, just stay for the night so I can make sure... Vita, get, she takes her last medication at 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted. I didn't know you having a fit to where you call the 911. When I, I thought he was in there with his car with his girlfriend. When I realized it was 911, you know what? You come out, take your dog, y'all go. Why would he be calling 911? That doesn't make sense. Because what you're saying is not I making wanted sense. him to say, I thought he was trying to, to go with his girlfriend. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Man, just stay. Just stay for the night. Leave in the morning because he can't hardly see him. That's gotcha. why he just got the glass. He just got some new glasses. I'm just being a mom. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure the dog take the medication. There was no altar. He in the bathroom. What you heard with the dog thumping. Once I realized he's escalating in this thing, come out. Unfortunately, take your dog. He left all his other stuff because he's been here for. You want to see his. He's been here for over a week with the dog. Yeah, he's been here since like the middle of October. Yeah, yeah. And since he just got his glasses, now he wants to dismiss mom and all that mom has done, and he wants to leave. But fine, we agree in the morning. Just let me to get her last prescription because he hasn't been giving the baby the medication. Just mm -hmm. give her the last prescription in the morning, and you, I don't know what he got scheduled with his girlfriend, mm -hmm. but he lost his mind now. He, I got to go now. It's four in the morning. Let the baby sleep. She's on medication. She went to the vet today. Today. Because she's still scratching her ears. She's not well. Okay. Even though he said he'd been for October, you know what? He left. He just got baptized. He left Sunday to get baptized. And then he came back. He's supposed to take the baby. He took the baby with him. He had the medication. He did not give her the medication. When he brought it back, everything was still in the bottle. And he's going, oh, I'm sorry. I hope that's it. Oh, Lord, y'all, y'all kidding me. Well, you caught us a shift change. Yeah, come on, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't want to do this. This is an embarrassing situation for me. Where, can you close it all the way, please? Because I don't want to thank you so much. What more do y'all need to know? We're just trying to get your side of the story, that's yeah, all. Yeah, it's not really a story. It's my son. He want to leave. He want to go with his girlfriend. I didn't want him to leave because the dog is sick. The dog medication. He left without the medication. I just wanted Vita, the dog, to stay for one more day. Mm -hmm. He been working from here the past like a week, a week, week and a half. Man, I, he just got his glasses. So now he want to get his glasses and he want to run. And since Mama, who been taking care of him for 31 years, just stay here for one more day. Mm-hmm. He couldn't even do that. He got the glasses today. Where the, where the, um, I can get the lens plaster bag. It's around here somewhere. It's, it's all right. It's huh? All right. It's okay. Yeah. 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 That's all. And he doesn't know how to communicate to me. Mom, I'm 31. I want to leave. I'll be responsible. I saw him in the bathroom when I mute the TV and I heard she, she, she. But I thought he was talking to his girlfriend. But it was too much she. Even when he told me girlfriend, 
you're putting too much on your mama. You're not telling the truth. I go in there on the phone. I see 911. I had no idea you did. It, it wasn't that city. You could have taken the dog. It wasn't that city. I don't make a commotion here while I live. This is in. He's going to go back to where he lives in Tucker, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I'm in George Creek. I got to remain here. You think I would call confrontation here? I've been here since for 13 years in George Creek. Mm -hmm. Take care of my baby. Take care of my son. Take care of my child. But now he fell in love. If you want to go, that's, you could have really stressed that to me. Ma, I really want to go. He doesn't know how to communicate. You call 911? Mm -hmm. But I found out that the hard way. Angela, do you have your ID on you by chance? Of course. Thank you. I found out that the hard way. And are you good if I give him the dog's medication when I walk Please out? Please do. I want okay. the baby to be taken care of. Alrighty, thank this you. This is so embarrassing. Well, we're trying to make it to where it's not that way. I know it's tough, but we yeah. got to come out when we get called. Yeah, I know you didn't call us. I wanted to get your side. That's all. I'm post certified. I want you to know this. Mm. When I moved here, I saw that Lee Amadell, and then I was safe trooper. Okay, I'm post certified. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. No, you're uh, you're DL if you have that okay, driver, driver's license. Thank you. I'll trade you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think the mom is right, actually, because now we're getting a bigger picture. At the beginning, we heard the son say he was just over there until he could get glasses and then he was going to move out. And I was thinking, what does that mean? But as you can see from the mother, he was there so that he could live there and needed internet. So you don't have internet where you live or at your girlfriend's house. So, and then... Why do you have a girlfriend who you live with, but then you're just going to go leave her and go stay with your mom by yourself? And so you don't have your yourself together. Also, it's four o'clock in the morning and you're at your mom's, you know, little small apartment. And then you're going to start up playing video games on the TV at four o'clock in the morning. Mm, it seems like there's a good mother that's looking out for her son. Also, another element is. It's your first relationship. So obviously the mother knows how first relationships go. If we've been in relationships, um, you know, there's a small minute chance your first relationship will be perfect and you'll live with the person and live happily ever after. But odds are they're not, you know, your first relationship. You don't know how to be in a relationship because you just have to learn. You know, when I was in my first relationship and I look back now, you just don't have the skill sets. You just... You're just going to mess up. You have to trial and error. And then eventually later on, you become a good, you know, husband material after you've, you know, went through a bunch of relationships. So odds are relationships just going to blow up into a disaster and you have to come back to the mother's house. And it looks like it's just a typical situation like that. This happens all day, all across the country. And calling the police on your mother is crazy. And if you're 31 years old and you don't, you don't know how that situation can end that's crazy but so now the son is about to come upstairs and start taking all of his belongings and apparently it looks like not only was he there in this whole situation that we just described he had his dog there too so you moved into your mom's house with the dog and are living at your mom in this whole situation at 31 years old mm, i'm starting to side with the mother but let's 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 see got the dog medication he could take the dog bed Mm -hmm. He can take his little stuff that's in the closet. Mm -hmm. He can take his clothes that's in his chair. He can take his Bible. Yep. He can take his stuff and he can go home where he lives in Tucker, Georgia. Something that I don't have What's that? I want him out of my house. Okay, man. So yeah. tell y'all yeah. gonna have him out? We can just clap our hands and it, okay? I hope so, because y'all coming in here like it can happen. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm getting some bags. I know what my hat. Okay. Please don't tell me what to do in my house. Hey, I know I'm, I'm really, I'm really You're upset. You're being very erratic right yeah, now. Okay? You I have gotta relax. Because you gotta when you relax, have a okay? child I and your that. child okay. turn their back okay. on you okay. and call the authorities, okay. you will not know what I'm, I'm going through until you understand what you and you will never be a mother. You don't understand what I'm well, going he's, through. Well, he's getting out of the house right yeah, now. So. Not quick enough for me. You did all that phone call. All we go is fast we go. Y'all here be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Here's a big bag, his stuff. Anybody want to help him out? 
Wait, sir, what are you doing with my hand? This is unloading it. What, what are you doing? Is this how tall are you? I'm, I'm like this, just carry. This is making it safe, that's all. Yeah, you're fine. Like I'm going to shoot three officers. Just, Come on, y'all. Do just, this to, just till Don't we get out of here, that's all. Just till we get out of here. But then guess what? Help him out. Instead of being, wait, where my gun though? Where my stuff? Hold on, man. No, but where my, let me see. Let me see. Can I see it, please? And this is fine. I have direct. Let me tell you, I'm close to the cop, so I understand how things are. Can I see no, my stuff? Awesome. Are you not, what makes you think I'm a toxic? Yeah, I would just get your personal stuff, I just quick, quick, stuff. and just, like, just bounce out. Let me uh, tell what? Have you ever heard of SFSDs? What do you, tell me more about that. You giving me okay. acronyms. Uh, Sobrieties? Yeah, sir. Okay, hold on. I already know that you're a toxic. I can just see this No, no, no. Let me tell you, I've been crying. I've been crying. Okay. That's what you see. Yeah. You see tears. No. You do not. Listen, Man, all I'm asking you, I'm not disrespecting you, I'm asking you, but you're ignoring me. Where is my gun and my, and my magazine? As soon as, as soon as he's gone. What am I doing with it? Okay, can you show it to me for a Why are you trying to get to it so bad if you're not, no, no, you're saying you're not going to do anything? I'm, that's what's making us nervous, no, okay? Because you're trying to get to your gun so freaking bad right now. It's three men and a female. Can I see the gun in the magazine? Is that all your stuff, bro? Sir, can you show me the gun in the magazine, please? That's it. Huh? You look at the gun Okay. No, what am I going to do? Look at me and look at you guys. The fact that we're arguing with such a simple thing. This is a dog's medication. All I want to see is the magazine. Oh, you know, I've never seen that quite Sir. No, oh, you're good, you're good. You mean to tell me? Okay, you're just playing on me. No, no, no. Understand, but I'm recording all of this stuff. You got the dog medication and stuff? Because I'm asking. See, this is a place. Yeah. And yeah. then I'm giving it to him. Uh, and man... God going to deal with you. Excuse me, sir. I can yeah. talk to my Stop child if I want to. You need to know. Mm -hmm. He's taking his time. I want him out of my house. Okay. You, I took everything. Get, no, get your little dog back. I don't want you to come back to your dog back. Okay. Hey, Darius. What else you got? He don't have lunch. We didn't talk to him. Please. Just, just a kennel, that's it. This is my okay. house. Okay. So there was no crime committed. He ends up packing all his stuff and leaving. I'm pretty sure that they're not allowed to take a firearm like that absent of a crime. Maybe they are, but I'm not specifically sure with that particular law. But I think you have to have like a actual articulable reason for why you, you know, she's not able to get to her property. Um, that's like, for instance, if there's an open carry state and somebody's allowed to open carry and they're in Walmart. The police can't just go and just take their firearm and say, you know what, since we're here, you can't have it right now because you're just not allowed to, she, they took her property. Um, so there were two conflicting reports. The mother saying one thing, the son is saying something else. And I know it may look like the mom may be belligerent or whatever. She's being emotional right now, but the police are kind of on the son's side. But realistically, why are you 31 years old? Why is all your stuff at your mom's house? Why were you living at your mom's house? Why are you playing PlayStation at 4 o'clock in the morning? If you're engaging in those behaviors, I think you need your mom yelling at you to get it together. You need tough love to get it together because at that age, you're kind of you're kind of blowing it. And, you know, the police... It would be in his best interest if the police were like, look, man, what are you doing? Your life situation. Why are you still here living with your mom? Like, you know, pack your stuff up and leave. We shouldn't even be here for this. Yada, yada, yada. But I don't know. I just side with the mom. Maybe you side with the son. Leave your comments down below. I'll hit y'all the next video. Like and subscribe. Peace. So uh, according to YouTube, you should like this other video that we made right here. And, you know, YouTube knows everything. So... Do yourself a favor and go ahead and check that video out. Right, Tavo? Yeah.